Can say hi. Hi. What's your name? Lilia. How old are you? Three. Three. Today's Lilia's half birthday, <laughs> and if you're not familiar with what that is, um, that means that she is officially three and a half years old because today I'm is... four? No, you're still three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so she is officially now three and a half instead of three, and some people celebrate that. We don't really celebrate it, but I thought it'd be fun to make a video. Huh. Okay. So, um, of course, Lilia had to start in this video, so I'm just going to ask her some questions to see how her, and like do a little update on her, to kind of update on how okay. she is, and how she's like developing. So, first of all is, she is a, Asuka, Asuka. <laughs> she is a typical princess. Are you a princess? You are. What's your name? Princess Lilia. Princess Lilia. Um, so much to the point of one of her ah. best friends at school um, asked her what her name was, and she said, my name is Princess. And ever since then, <laughs> that friend only calls her Princess. So I'm going to do some of, like, the, just, like, little updates on her. Because I did an update for her um, for when she turned three. But she has been... <laughs> you are insane. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so today, like I said, is December 18th, which means, and her birthday is June 18th, so she's officially three and a half. She is insane. I could say that, but in a good way. She has so much energy all the time, you can't tell. She just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. So some of the new things since her career update is that she is now in preschool. And I talked about putting her in preschool in that video, but um, if you haven't been watching my other video, and this is the first video you're watching, then yes, she is in preschool now. And she started at the regular school year, which was in August, I think. And she absolutely loves it. She loves it so much that it is to a point where I use it in terms of getting her to do stuff. So like, breathe, breathe. Breathe. <laughs> what is your deal today? Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. 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 <laughs> Sometimes taking her to do stuff that I want her to do. I'll say, do you want to go to school? And she goes, yes. And I'll say, okay, then you have to come do this. And that's like, it's her motivation to actually do stuff. So um, she absolutely loves school. She begs me to go to school on days that she doesn't have school, and she, once I get there, she like just runs off with her friends, and she just has such a good time. <laughs> Ow, you're butting and All right, I had her first parent-teacher conference um, with her teacher, and her teacher had nothing but amazing things to say about her, and that always makes her feel really good as a mom. She just said that Lily is absolutely amazing to have in class, and that she has never been a problem, and behavioral wise, she doesn't have any issues and she just adapted so quickly to the routines and she helps out and she does everything that she does everything that she's supposed to do when they're chill. 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 Okay, so since she is in school, she has learned um, a ton of things. Like school really had a positive impact on her. Like she can write her name. Um, and she can write other, <laughs> she's starting to be able to write other letters of the alphabet as well. Can you write your name? O-I-L-I-A. Oh yeah, that's how you spell it. Can you do it with your hands? O-I-L-I-A. Yay! High five! So yeah, she knows her name in sign language, she knows how to spell it, and she knows how to write it. And um, her vocabulary and comprehension just like got so improved as soon as she started school. So I am really glad we ended up putting her in this program because we were kind of debating it. We didn't know if there were any benefits to preschool. Um, but I think, I think it kind of depends on the child and for her it absolutely does because she gets to be in that environment and like, she is just such a friendly person. Like everybody that she sees is her friend. If there's someone that's like her age or that's a kid, they're automatically her friend. Everybody just opens up to Lilia really, really well, especially like kids her age. Like there was a day when I picked up Lilia from school and um, there's, I don't know how many kids there are in the class, but there, there's a lot of kids in the class, like at least like 20 kids. I'm not really sure. Can I talk? 
Not yet. <laughs> So there was a day when I was picking her up from school and um, at first it was like two of the kids and they were going, they were like singing, bye Lilia, bye Lilia, bye Lilia. And then the other kids started picking, started picking up on it, bye Lilia, bye Lilia. And eventually almost every single kid in the class was like singing, bye Lilia, bye Lilia, your friends at school. And it was so cute because it's just like, everybody loves my baby just as much as I do, huh? Oh yeah. Can you sing your alphabet? Can you sing your alphabet? Okay, so that's her alphabet. She knows most of the letters in her alphabet as far as like singing it and the song goes, but she can identify if it's not every letter, it's almost every letter. And the, the letters that she can't identify it would be like the, um, the ones that she doesn't see very often. I know she can count at least to 20. She might be able to count after that. But she can identify all different shapes, which I think she, she's been able to do shapes for a long time. And um, she can identify all of her numbers. And she can write some of her numbers. But we haven't, I don't know how many of those she can actually right. <laughs> she's gonna sing. Also her colors she's known for like ever. So um yeah she's I don't know she's known her colors forever so that's not really a new thing. She also if you haven't noticed constantly sings whether it's a real song or a pretend made up from Lilia song but it's like to the point where she'll get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I'll hear her in the bathroom singing and I'm like Lilia it's two in the morning why are you singing? constantly dancing she absolutely loves dance ever since her first recital she's been asking like daily when are we gonna go on the big stage I want to go on the big stage I want to be on the big stage again and she's not gonna get to be on the big stage until next May so I'm hoping that comes pretty quickly she's taking two dance classes right now she's taking ballet and tap and both of them are 30 minute classes and both of them are gonna be um, their own dance in the recital and she just found out that her ballet song Look at I make you. oh I see what's your ballet song gonna be Sophia. Sophia. She absolutely loves Sophia the First. And she's found out that Sophia the First, the theme song of it is going to be her dance for the recital. So she's really excited about that. And her tap one we haven't actually got to hear, but it's from it's from Sesame Street, I think. So yeah, she's really excited about that. And she constantly asks to see her video. Since I put since I recorded her recital and I put it on YouTube, she constantly asks to see that video. So I'm like constantly replaying the recital video and she goes, I want to see me dance. I want to see you dance. I want to see the puppet stop dance. So she's, we're always watching that video, so if you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it because it's Lilia's current favorite right now. She also loves everything pink and everything sparkly. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink? Do you have another favorite color? What? Um, dark pink. Dark pink, <laughs> okay. Her nails, every time we paint them, they're either pink, sparkly, or pink sparkly like both of them so they're either just pink or just sparkles or they're both and it's rare for her to pick a different color other than other than those colors what's your favorite food what do you like to eat what does Lily like to eat donuts donuts yeah that's probably her favorite what's your favorite tv show maybe uh hmm maybe pumpkin rapunzel rapunzel you like rapunzel that's a movie but close enough who's your favorite princess Aurora. Aurora? She, lately she's been into Aurora and she's never actually seen the movie. That's Sleeping Beauty, if it's you're not familiar. But she's never actually seen the movie. But I'm, I'm pretty sure because Aurora wears a pink dress, that's kind of why it's her favorite right now. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. She is the most picky child I have, I have ever met. Don't eat that. That's gross, Lily. She is the most picky child I have ever met in my entire life. She... She like doesn't like to eat anything out of her comfort zone. Her thing that she eats like all the time is like bread. I love this. Like just straight bread. She likes to eat just plain wheat I bread. Like those. I with like nothing those. on it. Like I'll try to make her a sandwich and she doesn't want a sandwich. What? She just likes to eat bread. And I went to Switzerland when I was like um when I was in like sixth grade, I think. And I went to Switzerland, another country, and I ate bread the whole time. So I'm not too worried about that because I my taste buds were the same way. Like I didn't like to eat anything until I grew until I grew older and I just like started trying new things. But to get her to try something new is pretty rare. She doesn't like trying new things and she doesn't like eating things out of her comfort zone. Discipline wise, I've had a lot of questions about how we handle discipline and um, 
with her, honestly, family. honestly, she is like the most well-behaved kid I have ever met. What we do if she's like doing something we don't like or if she's doing something that she's not supposed to be doing or doing something that can hurt her, all we've ever done is use timeout. And I know there's like a million different ways you could do timeout, but the way that we do it here is you have to get in the corner and you have to um, face the corner. So the key to like getting her to not like it was to have her face the corner so she couldn't see anything. Um, she's literally had timeout maybe three or four times in her life. So now what we do if she's doing something that's going to hurt her or that she's not supposed to be doing, she gets three warnings. So the first time we'll say, so the first time we'll tell her, Lilia, you're not supposed to be doing that. I have to talk. So, talk quiet. Talk quiet? Like, why? Because. Because, because. Because my brothers. Your brothers are sleeping? Yeah, we should be quiet. Hold on. So, uh, now what we do is she gets like three warnings and we'll tell her you're not supposed <laughs> <laughs> We'll tell her you're not supposed to be doing. Well, yeah, she gets three warnings and all we have to do is just threaten timeout. And she's completely done what she's doing. If you just say, Lilia, do you want to go in timeout? Then she says no, and she stops it, huh? Do you like going in timeout? No. No. Is timeout bad? What? When do you go in timeout? Um, um, bite kids. When you bite kids? Yeah. Do you bite kids? Uh, no. No. Who bites kids? Kaisen. Kaisen bites kids sometimes, and he gets timeout, huh? Yeah. When do you get timeout? Nothing. Because <laughs> you're a good girl, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't had time out in a long time. All you have to do is threaten it, and she's, like, done what she's doing. So she's yeah. really easy. You're nice, huh? Yeah, I'm you're nice. And I think the last thing is that she had her first dentist appointment today, and I've been asking the dentist that we go to when to take her in for a long time, and they always just told me around age three, around age three, as long as there's nothing to worry about, like nothing you're concerned about, or and you're brushing daily and you floss daily, then around age three is what the age they like because they can actually sit and cooperate and do the things that they need them to do. So she's come with me to dentist appointments before, and they kind of just looked at her teeth, but, but as far as taking her, they said to take her until age three. So we took her for the first time today, and she loved it. She liked sitting in the big chair. She liked getting her x-rays done because she keeps, cause she got to bite the little soft things while they took the pictures. And then she got a bunch of treats afterwards, so she absolutely loved going to the dentist. Yeah, there were no concerns. She doesn't have any cavities. The only thing they said is that she's pro her big teeth look like they're going to probably come in crooked, which I am not surprised about because I had braces and Gabe could have used braces. She has a high probability of needing braces and he was saying um, it looks like that, that that braces might be in her future. So she had one dark spot on her teeth and I can't remember what he called it, but they said they're going to do like an air compress thing on it um, to make sure it doesn't get like worse, I guess. I don't know, but it was like way in the back and yeah, there is no concerns whatsoever. <laughs> so she had a lot of fun at her dentist appointment today. What did you get to do at the dentist? Uh, I bite do? things. You bite things, huh? And then you got the big camera to take pictures, right? Of your teeth. And what else? Light. The light, the big light. And the dentist came in, and what, did, what, what was on the ceiling? Animals. Animals? What animals were there? I don't know. You don't know. Maybe a monkey. Maybe there was a monkey, yeah. What was on the door? Um, I think there was a giraffe. No. No? A snake. <laughs> oh, a snake was on the door. Okay. Yeah, she has just like, she's a little girl now. Like, she's not my little toddler anymore. Like, she is like a little girl, like a legit little girl. <laughs> oh, and also people have asked if I ever cut her hair. And no, I have not cut her hair. And I don't plan on it anytime soon. So she's never had a haircut. Lily wants to show you how she dances. Like that? Show me how you do your ballet. No, they can't see you. <laughs> Shin, this child is insane. She's on break right now. For um, She's on a winter break from school, so she's going crazy not having to go to school. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is she's obsessed with days of the week. She is learning her days of the week right now also, and she's fascinated with the different kinds of days of the week, and she has a really, really good memory about what happens on what days. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. What happens on Wednesday? Sharing. Sharing at school. So like she remembers, it. she knows if it's Wednesday, then she has sharing day. What happens on Tuesdays? Yes. 
dance class. What happens on Fridays? I go wear my bear shirt. Yeah, she gets to wear her bear shirt at school. All right, so I think that's all. So like I said, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I will talk to you guys for my next update. Come here, come say bye. Bye. Say see you next time. I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye. Bye.